Executive Director of the Colorado Clerks Association for being here today. Yesterday, my office learned about a developing issue in Mesa County. We are here to tell you what we understand at this time, but it is a developing investigation. According to information that we gathered yesterday from the Mesa County Clerk's Office, it appears that as of now, approximately a dozen voters in Mesa County had their ballots intercepted before they arrived to them and cast without their knowledge. Now, the ballots were filled out, the return envelopes were signed, and they were then returned to a USPS blue box. So that's a postal box, not a ballot drop box. The issue was discovered during the signature verification process. At least three of the voters had already received communications from the Mesa County Clerk. Mesa County Clerk mailed two of the voters affected to ask them to cure their ballots, which means fix the signatures, because the signatures were rejected during the ver verification process. The voters subsequently reached out to Mesa County and told them they didn't actually vote their ballot or receive it. Other voters who had their ballots rejected because of the false signature would have also been sent that cure letter, uh, but the, the ballots were intercepted in time. At least one other affected voter, voter received a message through the ballot track system, which is the statewide ballot tracking system that sent a notification to them that their ballot was received by their county clerk. Again, the voter didn't actually receive their ballot and had not voted their ballot. None of these three voters had cast a ballot and they reached out to the Mesa County Clerk. Mesa County Clerk Bobby Gross, her office then started an investigation. They discovered that ballots had been sent to addresses in close proximity to each other. Mesa County then looked at all the other ballots that were rejected because of the signature and discovered that it appeared that at least some of the ballots were signed by the same person. The Mesa County Clerk's Office then turned the findings over to Mesa County District Attorney Dan Rubenstein, who has initiated a criminal investigation. The team in Mesa County is re-examining every ballot return envelope that has been received at this point. The investigation into this situation is ongoing. What we also know is that Colorado's elections are safe and secure. And this attempt at fraud was found and investigated quickly because of the groundbreaking tools that we have here. Every return ballot undergoes signature verification in the state of Colorado, which is comparing the signature on the ballot return envelope to the signatures on file by the voter. Colorado also has ballot curing, where the county clerk will actually reach out to a voter if their ballot is rejected because their signature does not match. And we have tools like ballot tracks, where voters can sign up and get uh, information sent to them from when their ballot was mailed to them, to when it was received by the county clerk, to when it is counted. These fraudulent ballots were rejected and flagged. A recent update from the Mesa County Clerk indicates that four made it through the initial round of signature verification. One of those was caught before it was counted because the voter had received a message through ballot tracks. Every voter impacted by the, the scheme that we are undercovering, under, undercovering will have the opportunity to make their voice heard in the 2024 general election. Affected voters will be given a new ballot. Voter fraud, voter intimidation, and voter harassment are illegal in the state of Colorado. We will respond quickly to any attempts to disenfranchise voters or interfere with the Colorado election model. With that, I'll turn it over to Matt Crane, and then we'll take questions from everybody here. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that we have to get to the, together for an event like this to talk about when somebody tries to do something nefarious with our voting systems. But as we've heard from Secretary Griswold, it's important to note that our processes here in Colorado did what they were supposed to do in terms of identifying potential fraud when it happens. And our clerk, uh, Bobby Gross, and her team in Mesa County did a great job of following through on this to see what happened and working with DA Rubenstein in Mesa County to follow through and investigate this, which the secretary, as the secretary said, is still ongoing. But I, again, I just want to highlight, this shows the resiliency of our process here in Colorado, that if somebody tries to do nefarious things, it will be discovered through our processes. Um, it's also a great sign that the voters took responsibility when they got that cure letter to reach out to the county to say, hey, 
we think there's a problem here. And so we always encourage personal responsibility with our voters as well. If you see something wrong, make sure you get in touch with the county so it can be investigated. I'd also like to highlight that this is just another opportunity for our clerks and our teams across the state to go back and review all of our processes, all of our signature verification work, our, all of our audit work, to make sure that we are dotting every I and crossing every T to make sure that things like this don't happen again. And heaven forbid, if it does, that we catch it and get it to law enforcement where they will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Perfect. With that, happy to take questions. Yep. I can't comment as to suspects, and we're just going to ask everybody to uh, bear with us because we're not going to be speculating as to that and ask for patience. Um, of, of course, one thing to note, any voting that is concerned to go to the voting 